Welcome to Midwest Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Kim Baker. This week we are at Wembley Stadium in London for the international NFL football game between the Minnesota Vikings and the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have had an amazing week of talking with fans from the Vikings, not only from the Twin City area, surrounding states, but also all across the world who have that feel for what it's like to be a Viking. Here are some of the sights and sounds and talking with some of the players and also some of the fans here in London. We're, we're die-hard Viking fans. What's it like being in London to see the Vikings? We came to London just to see the Vikings. We're thrilled to be here. We do. We do an away game every year to watch them play in another stadium. And this is the year we came to London. So. What better place could you go? Uh, my uncle is from Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis. So uh, one of my friends found out uh, found out about American football. football um, then I just got hooked on the Vikings because he yeah, is from Minnesota. Well, I was just telling somebody over there in the in the back about how the fans here over here in the UK how much they love American football. I don't think people realize it over there in, uh, in, the, in the United States, but I, for one really appreciate it, you know, and to see all the fans out here, to see the atmosphere, to see the excitement, I mean, it's just great for football, it's great for me as a fan and a, as a former player. I was excited. I mean, anytime, I've never been overseas, and anytime you come over to a different country and play football, it's pretty sweet, and uh, playing in Wembley, I think, too, is a very, very, very cool thing. I think at first, really, it was just excitement to be able to be a part of this game. Um, obviously, once you get over here and realize the jet lag and the schedule and things that kind of go with it, I'm still excited to be a part of it. Um, Probably more excited now that it's Friday and the week is over, and uh, now we're kind of getting ready to play a game, and and now it sort of just feels like a regular in-season game for us. But um, you know, it, it's been a, it's been a really cool experience for us to come over here, and, and I think good for our football team. And you know, it's gonna be to me a lot to, a lot more smiles if we can get a win uh, in this game, so we can play well. Seeing this thing come full circle, uh, we were one of the first teams back in 1982, 1983, to play over in London at the old Wembley Stadium. So. To see what it was then, to see what the production is now, today, uh, from a player standpoint and now from a broadcast standpoint, to see the difference. Uh, football is football between the lines, but it's a huge business and it's a huge opportunity. The NFL has gone global, and uh, to see this product today compared to what it was back in 1982, there's no comparison, but it's just unbelievable at the interest uh, across the pond you know, with, with this with this game called professional football, you know, as we know it. Uh, but it's 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 been great. Uh, not, when this game first came up on the schedule, a lot of people said, oh, gosh, even players and coaches, man, the last thing, a place that we need to go and is to play a game in, in London. But uh, the way that the setup, the campus, uh, all of the little details, it's just been unbelievable. So, uh, and uh, that, that's that's about all I can say about it. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, there's been so many great players that have shared that field, and uh, you know, great teams and battles, and uh, it'd just be awesome to same, share the same fields as those guys. You know, we didn't realize that how much they do have the NFL on, uh, on their Sky Sports, which is the big channel over here. And uh, so you know, and everybody you talk to, a lot of the security guards and guys we've been around all week, um, know a lot of the players um, on our team, but on, on all, all the other teams in the NFL as well. So they follow it, they follow it closely, uh, more closely than, they, than you realize. Well, we've also looked at this sort of as a business trip because we need our win. We need a first win of the season uh, to get back on track here. And uh, we know that they're going to be desperate for a win as well. And uh, if we just go out there and play well in all three phases, we have a good chance. You know, we've been really close in games, and uh, unfortunately with the start we've had, it's, it's just disappointing. You know, we put a lot of work in to get to the point where we can have a fast start and, and play our best football, and we've been in some good situations. You know, the game in Chicago, it's tough to be such a play them that well at their place and get a win, and unfortunately we just lost at the end, and the same thing at our first home game. So uh, we need a win here, and we need to play we need to play good football, most importantly, and, and it'd be nice to come off the win and then kind of move forward from here. When a guy goes down, this is a game, it's a tough game, it's a game of injuries, uh, but it's always about next man up. And regardless to what number you wear, regardless to whether you're a big bonus baby or a superstar, you've got to come up, you've got to step up because your teammates are dependent on you. And this is no different. But this team had a run last year at the end to make it to the playoffs. 
So anything is possible, even though it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And that's what this team is learning, hopefully, how to do is learn how to finish. Oh, this is the third time I'm seeing the Vikings play. And uh, first time I saw them in uh, Berlin in the uh, American Bowls playing the Buffalo Bills. Then I saw them at the uh, home stadium in 97 playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this is the third time I'm going to see them playing. I'm really excited to see them, even though they're 0-3, but the, the, tomorrow will be the first win. It, it really is great. It's great to come over here. It's great to see all the fans. It's great to, you know, mix with the culture. It's great. It's, it's, it's also really great been to a good be with time. all the soldiers that are over here that came over for the game. Yeah. We're prior yeah. military, Marine, Navy. Yep. So a lot of them yeah. from Germany come over to watch a football game because they don't get to see them. Yeah. Lots of Viking fans, lots of purple everywhere we've gone. Everywhere. Um, it's been great. A lot more Viking fans than Steeler fans. So we're excited for the game. Yeah. And we're proud of our drum corps. <laughs> Midwest Sports Weekly, presented to you by Shields. Feed your passion at Shields.com. I started hunting with my brothers and my dad. Hunting for me is getting away from everything, just getting out into the country, to the quiet. I enjoy hunting with my son more than anything. Someday he'll have memories like I have of hunting with my dad. There's just no better feeling when a customer says, you know, that gun you sold me last year worked perfect. That is, to me, what it's all about. I'm Leon Streifel, and I'm one of the hunting experts at Shields. I am a helpful smile with local grown and homegrown produce. What we do is find the best local growers. We'll contract with the best local growers right down the street from your store. It comes right from the farm to Hy-Vee. The farmers you know, the people in your communities, we even have signs that tell you which farm it was grown on. It's pretty much like a farmer's market in here. You can't get any fresher than that unless you pick it yourself. I am a helpful farm fresh, sustainable, local, homegrown, bringing you the freshest produce smile. And that's my promise. The stories this building could tell. 1,000 catches. It's about family reunions, Sunday brunch, and running for the record books. We've made history here, and this is just the beginning. Join us for the final season of Mall of America Field. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area, sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. I wish I was at the game myself, but to have a great place like that in the UK and showing the fans the time and appreciating the fans to come over, I think it's a fantastic place. NFL's getting bigger up here all the time. You can go to local shops and stores to buy all the NFL jerseys and stuff that you need to do every day. And you know the NFL franchise, we can see that they're serious because they're actually coming over spending time. It's quite easy to just spend time in the United States and not bother to come to the UK, but they're showing us time. Hopefully, we get some more games in the next couple of years, but the more games that come, the more people that are join in. I've never seen Regency so packed in my life. It's absolutely incredible. All the way to the bottom term, Regent Street, all the way to the top. It's really, really busy. Everyone's having fun. There's no complaints. There's no hustling and bustling. Everyone's smiling. I think we should do it Sunday as well. Seeing all the jerseys and 
stuff. And, but actually, there's a lot of NFL jerseys. Everyone dug out their favorite player from the past, you know, the Patriots. And so it's just a whole, and that's what the NFL wants, a whole experience of this is the put NFL. Away, put away. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vikings fan in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but you're in London. But I'm in London. And, oh, I think I'm a goodwill ambassador for the Vikings here. <laughs> in London, I really am. We're gonna go home with the win too. It's, it's almost like a big block party, and it's 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 almost like the NFL is just building a, like a, a friendship, along with the football game, but also everyone get to. Getting to be with each other and getting to be friends. I, it really is. I really like it. Okay, we're studying abroad. I feel at home right now. The streets. I feel like I'm in America. Yeah. Amazing today. Loads of people out enjoying themselves. Oh, great atmosphere. No trouble. Everyone's in a good mood. Minnesota Vikings have amazing fans, you know, very happy. Pittsburgh a little bit straight laced, you know, a little bit straight down the line. That's why we're down here with the Vikings people. Look at this look. Big Sid there. See him back there? It's been amazing. Can't wait for the game tomorrow. But I'm a Bears fan, so I hope Minnesota wins. The massive stadium is brand new. Worldwide known football is the mecca. It's the, it's the mecca of stadiums to play football. And football is global. So if you can get an NFL game here, which they've done, it's amazing. You know? So I think just being at Wembley, being in London, amazing city is great for the game. I think it's actually better than the Olympics because it's been condensed into one street. So you've had all the fans packed up. Whereas the Olympics, it was spread out across the city. So even though it was good, it was not the same flavour as today, which has been really condensed and tense. Loads going on, all very friendly. It's been beautiful. The Vikings. How many people do you know that will actually come to the UK for a Vikings game? Um, looks like about 50,000. This is absolutely freaking amazing. I cannot believe the fans that are out here. They are here in the tens of thousands here, filling the streets of London. I feel like William the Conqueror coming back to England. Our, our reign, our reign is just beginning. Go Vikings! come all the way to London get to get it. So uh, I, I think I'll always have a special place in my heart for, for Wembley Stadium along with London. This, is, this, was, this, was, this has been a great week for our football team, for our entire organization. Uh, it's been terrific all the way around. Then you come out and, and finish. Midwest Sports Weekly, presented to you by Shields. Feed your passion at Shields.com. I started hunting with my brothers and my dad. Hunting for me is getting away from everything, just getting out into the country, to the quiet. I enjoy hunting with my son more than anything. Someday he'll have memories like I have of hunting with my dad. There's just no better feeling when a customer says, you know, that gun you sold me last year worked perfect. That is, to me, what it's all about. I'm Leon Streifel, and I'm one of the hunting experts at Shields. For generations, our family has made it a priority to teach the next generation about personal finance. And with every generation comes new challenges the last generation couldn't even dream of. Since 1987, Consumer Credit of America has helped over 100,000 people get out of debt and use credit cards wisely. 
You have a choice on who helps you with your debt problems. Go with a company that's family owned and operated and will truly help you get out of debt. Got financial problems? Call Consumer Credit of America. I am a helpful smile in seafood. We have more fresh fish flown in daily from the dock to my case in two days. Ivy is one of the only retailers in the nation with their own USDC seafood inspector. We've got amazing seafood from all around the world. King crab flown in from the Bering Sea. We catch fish and shrimp right out of Louisiana. Oh yeah, this is fresh. Look at it. I am a helpful, sustainable, USDC inspected. Two days flown in, fresh smile. And that's my promise. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area, sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. It's really awesome, and uh, I said it before, when the NFL is doing something, they do it 100%. It's been a really fun day, all the families and children are out today. Um, it's been a fantastic day so far. We're in downtown London on Regent Street between Trickadelli Circus and Oxford Circus. Right now behind us is the Play 16 event sponsored by the NFL with encouraging children to participate at least 60 minutes a day. It was unbelievable the interest that the kids had, number one, and look at it like this. The team had just come off an eight-hour flight. You get on a bus and you go to Wembley Stadium and you play with a bunch of kids, and our kids, you know, our big kids, I think had as much fun as the little kids. Uh, number one, they were happy to be off the plane, and number two, they could just be okay because kids are so innocent. They ask some of the greatest questions in the world. So uh, I, I think that, that number one, being the first thing that they did, you know, we're accustomed to play 60 and all of those things, but to see it abroad and how much interest uh, and in, in interested that the kids were, it was unbelievable. It was, it was cool. I mean, I think it was, it was good in a way that we, we get that, uh, obviously domestically, the NFL is hugely popular. And I think it's popular here, but I think with the kids, you know, their, their soccer, their football is so popular. And we, I was just amazed. And I think a lot of the guys were amazed with the agility of these kids at a young age. I mean, just the way they could move their feet, um, their coordination was unbelievable because they have been playing soccer. And I just, uh, I have my daughters playing soccer. And I think it's just, a, you know, I think it's a good move that Americans get their kids into soccer and get them active like that because it's, um, you didn't see any kids that were out of shape. You saw, you saw kids that were, that were active, engaged, and had just unbelievable uh, coordination. You know, everyone expects, uh, everyone knows about how the fans love their, their soccer, their football, and um, you know, when we went down to, uh, to Regency Square yesterday, um, there were so many fans there during the pep rally, and then tonight it was it was loud and, and it was full and it was awesome. So it was uh, it was great to see, and, and again we all enjoyed uh, tonight, enjoyed the whole week.
Midwest Sports Weekly, presented to you by Shields. Feed your passion at Shields.com. I started hunting with my brothers and my dad. Hunting for me is getting away from everything, just getting out into the country, to the quiet. I enjoy hunting with my son more than anything. Someday he'll have memories like I have of hunting with my dad. There's just no better feeling when a customer says, you know that gun you sold me last year worked perfect. That is to me what it's all about. I'm Leon Streifel and I'm one of the hunting experts at Shields. The stories this building could tell. 16 playoff appearances. The Ring of Honor. And while we may be going places, we will never forget where we came from. This is our time, and it's just the beginning. Join us for the final season of Mall of America Field. So you want another piece of candy? You like candy. I like credit cards. But if you eat too much candy, you'll get sick and your teeth will rot out, and you'll spend thousands of dollars fixing the problem. If I use too many credit cards, I go deep into debt and spend thousands of dollars in interest charges. So if you promise not to abuse candy, I'll promise not to abuse credit cards. Deal? Deal. If you've got a sweet tooth for credit cards, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area, sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. Servicemen and women, people that live here in uh, London area, all over the United States have come in and watched That's my thing. That's your experience. That's my thing. It means a lot. You know, you, you got. When you got tradition, you got guys who, who came before you who were greats and they came over here and displayed their talents, you know, it just makes it makes anybody who's in the game feel like, hey man, you know, they, they set this bar, I gotta step up and be the person that, that we're here to do it as to bring good football to this area. What veteran leadership is about. You pass on those things. When I came in the league, there were things that Jim Marshall and Carl Eller and Fran Tarkin and Ahmad Richa, all of those guys, those great veteran players, that's what they taught us younger guys. And, and it was up to us to kind of pass that on to the guys that came up behind us. And, and it's, just, it's just the giving and giving and giving. Uh, but the one thing that's consistent, you learn how to be a great teammate. That was the most important thing. Uh, you can't be selfish. Uh, you do what you need to do to make the team better, not to make yourself better. But he's a former player. You know, in my opinion, you know, if, if you can get a coach that was a former player that can handle the job, I think that's I think that's better for the players because a former player understands what players are going through. When it, whether it's good or bad, a former player knows. And him as a former player that's a head coach, I think it's great. And I wish we got more head coaches that were former players. Just so proud of our football team, our players, the way they have uh, just battled. Uh, never giving up and just finding a way uh, in the National Football League to get a win. So thank you, London, uh, for helping us to get that first win. And, you know, the fan uh, noise, uh, I mean, we, we felt at times like we were almost back at Mall of America. It was noise and there was a lot of purple uh, in those stands. So it was, it was terrific all the way around. And uh, great job by our players, great job by our coaches. 
and getting those guys prepared and focused uh, to be able to go out and get a win. It was, it was awesome. It was, uh, we didn't really know what to expect. We, we thought it was going to be loud, but we thought it was going to be loud for both sides. But uh, they really, it really felt like a home game. And, and so the, uh, the English fans were, were great. And, and again, the whole week they were, they were great hosts for us. And, and um, I think every, every one of us loved being here and playing at the stadium. Um, you know, it, it was just, you know, it was a chance for us to bond and practice together and eat together and things like that. And uh, it was a great team building experience here, which you don't really get in the middle of the season like this. Amazing. I mean, I think, uh, you know, obviously I've had a chance to go into London and um, cool experience, but um, you can tell you're definitely in a European city and it's different than an American city. But I think this is really what's kind of cool to be like in the, in the countryside. Um, and, you know, the famous English countryside, I think, is pretty cool. And uh, looking out here in a resort like this is pretty, it's kind of one's a lifetime deal. I mean, people don't realize how nice it is out here. Great. It was a lot of purple in that stadium. Uh, when we came out for warm-ups, I was just amazed with, you know, the flags and things like that. Just brought a smile to my face knowing that we had a, a home crowd here all the way in London. It was great. They've been awesome. And they've been really receptive to us. And uh, they've been great hosts. And uh, I think all the guys I can speak for all of them and say that uh, we really enjoyed our time here. enjoyed this inside look at the Minnesota Vikings and their trip to London. For more information, go to our website. That's MidwestSportsWeekly.com. With Wendy Baker and from all of us, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Midwest Sports Weekly, presented to you by Shields. Feed your passion at Shields.com.